So to finish off this subject of systems life cycle, we come to maintenance, the final part. So maintenance really refers to um, things that go on after the system has been installed. So we've gone through all these processes, we've got to the stage where we've actually put the system in place, um, we've got people using it within the organization and um, and then and then things develop that that mean that the system has to be changed so you could say it's running repairs is a good way of looking at it but that's only one aspect of it and we'll look at the other one the other ones next but if you think of how um, an organization that you're currently in the school um, how maintenance is going on in in rooms as you see it and indeed is going on during holidays and that kind of thing. That's really maintenance that happens in any organization as regards computer systems and it's an essential part to figure in um, or to factor in should I say when you, uh, when you are considering systems analysis and design and maintenance is something that uh, like when you go and buy um, a digital camera or a computer and they offer you some sort of warranty with a particular product Maintenance is, is also something that can be factored in when you're charging something, somebody for something cost. You may offer that maintenance, um, providing that maintenance for them rather than them doing it in house themselves. Or indeed, you may um, contract that in as part of what you provide for the particular organisation. So, as we've already touched upon, the reasons why maintenance is needed is really when it comes to fixing issues as they as they come up all the faults in the systems you design no matter how much you've tested it and no matter how good a system it is and no matter how much it's been agreed that it's effective and all those kinds of things there are going to be glitches there are going to be ways people use the system that's not going to be the way it's intended there are going to be people who want specific things to happen within their area in other words they want you to change things but there's also things like updates as well as you know technology develops technology changes Say, for instance, if you're using a particular um, interface or you're using a particular platform, that's going to need updating. Um, hardware's going to need updating. Hardware's going to break. It's not going to function as you intend it. Or it's going to uh, just get out of date or need updating to something better because it runs faster, it's more powerful, it's a better display or whatever you're talking about. Then there's other things such as legislation. Um, I'm not really going to go into details about that just to understand that legislation might come in that affects the way a particular system operates so that may may involve some changes being made down the, down the road um, but then the business needs, the way a business operates it, it, probably even the size of a business comes into business needs so that will involve changing some things down the road although quite short and sweet this um, final slide on this I do think it's worth noting that the question of when maintenance occurs is really open-ended. Um, it occurs, of course, after the system's been put in place. That's what we're looking at, and when it's been used. But but then it can happen at any time, and it can go on and on. It's a continuous process. That uh, while you ever you've got a system in place, it's going to need it's going to need maintenance. It's like running a car. It's constantly going to need maintenance. It's constantly going to need checking, and it's constantly going to need updating, fixing along the way to make sure it's working properly and indeed monitoring along the way to make sure that that's happening so if you get the idea that we're talking about something while the system's in place and running and being used and that's really where maintenance occurs